Hi guys, welcome back to Shaman's Kitchen. I want to say good night one, good night all, wishing everybody a happy weekend. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I want to say welcome to my channel. Today is Friday and I was in the mood for a nice fish curry, so I'm going to share a recipe with you guys for fried snapper curry. And this is a um, like a different way on preparing curry. So if you guys come on down, we can cook this curry together. So here I have my gray snapper washed and clean. I'm going to season it now with some salt. So I'm going to go in with one teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to grind some black pepper on top, about half a teaspoon. And I'm going to add some of my green seasoning, about two tablespoons to season this fish. And my green seasoning is contained of green onion, garlic, thyme, um, regular onion, pepper, and I have broadleaf thyme and fine thyme in here as well. So I'm going to let it marinate a little. So I'm going to lightly dust the fishes with some flour and I'm going to put them into the frying pan to cook for a little. And this way of making fish curry is when you don't want the fish to mash up in the curry. I'm going to just fry maybe three pieces at a time until they're nice and golden brown. And then I'll take them out and repeat the process until I'm finish frying all the fish so now these are nice and brown I'm gonna take them out of the oil and then I'm gonna start frying the next batch so I have my fish already fried and I, these are some of the ingredients I'm gonna add to the fish curry I have some frozen tomatoes from my garden last year I'm gonna add that to the curry I have here some saijan or moringa and some mariburi pepper. I have some green mangoes and I have some okra. And here is my seasoning and my spices. I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to chunk in my curry and show you guys how I prepare this fry fish curry. So I'm going to put my seasoning in the pan. And I like to put it in when the pan is not too hot yet. Because it's going to start splattering up. And then I'm going to cover it and let it cook for a bit. Until the spices are mellow in and the, it, the color change to a nice darkish brown. And then I'm going to start adding more flavor. So we're going to check on this. And this is cooking up nicely it's sticking to the bottom the color has changed i'm gonna put a little bit of water in there and i want to add some salt in here before i add my other ingredients so just about a teaspoon of salt i'm gonna make this a little bit different so i'm gonna put in my mango and my moringa Meringue or saijan, if you know it, and my okra, and then I'm gonna mix this in all this goodness and give it a minute or two before I add some water. So, we're gonna make like a sauce, and then close towards the end. Then I'm going to put the fish inside because they're already cooked. So now I'm going to add the water into the, um, the curry. And I'm going to go in with about two and a half cups so we can cook all this um, mango, moringa, and the okra. Once these are cooked, then I'm going to add the fish into here. So I, I'm going to cover it and let everything cook in together. So let's check how these are doing. And it looks to me 
like it's done. So I'm gonna taste for more salt. This is perfectly done. I'm gonna low down the heat and then I'm gonna taste this for some, if it needs more salt. And the salt taste is perfect. Okay, I got a hint of that mango. I'm gonna add the fish now. And I wanna put them in gently so they don't break. And it's gonna suck up all that nice liquid that we have in here. And we're gonna get a beautiful, I'm gonna leave it on low heat uh, for a minute or two and then we will serve this up with some rice. You can cook, you can eat this with roti as well but i like to eat my fish curry with rice i'm gonna add some of those tomatoes i didn't want to put them in too early and i am drooling guys i don't know about you but i am ready to dig into this nice delicious fried snapper curry and i like to put a few peppers to boil and on top like that and I will come back to this in two minutes and show you guys how how does this look really good right so here is that beautiful fish fried gray snapper curry I am gonna dish out soon and let you guys know how this tastes so here is my beautiful plate of fried gray snapper curry and I have everything in here, my moringa or saijan, my okra, green mango, and a piece of fish. I'm gonna dig in right here. And I am drooling because it smells so nice. And I wanna get a little piece of the mango here. And some okra. And some juice from this this pepper and I'm gonna dig in this is your mouthful I am taking a mouthful for all my viewers and subscribers thanking you guys for staying with me while I'm preparing this meal mm. guys so good I didn't make a curry fry fish curry for a long time and I'm just gonna dig in for a piece of the fish let you guys see how nice and white it is inside and it's still intact it didn't fall apart this is another way if you're scared to cook your fish without frying it and that it's gonna fall apart in your curry this is another way of doing it cheers mm. so good so nice on a friday night dinner so i want to say please give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Just press that subscribe button. Until then, have a wonderful weekend. Thank you guys for watching. Stay blessed, stay safe. Bye for now.